Fist of Mushkan, right? Because now she's like cross dressing oh, yeah. This is like straight up a hair and cross tie, right? Where the guy gets you know feminized by the girlfriends. But it feels like she's like, oh, what do people think out of a guy? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Then Mrs. Lear, because now she's acting like like her best friend sees her in a skirt. But you know, she's acting like she basically is like a male, right? Dressed up. It's, it's like it's weird cross dressing. Yeah, oh no, we can see my penis in my underwear. Yeah. They go to the date ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ。ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ。ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ。ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ。ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ。ビッグマスキュルトンボーイズ
The skirt time. It's a skirt from the opening. Oh my god, Carol's also in extra cute form. Yeah, they're gonna cute, they're gonna feminize her. Second level feminization here, oh my god. Stop trying to make this woman a woman. Yeah, they're gonna put in a skirt, man. Yeah, they're gonna feminize her. <laughs> you see? They're feminizing the poor, poor Tomoshan. That's what I mean, man. This is like a typical hentai when they, when they feminize the main character to, you know, be smashable, yeah. <laughs> this, but it's a woman from the beginning. I know, I know. Come on, I know. Oh, and now it's like, you're so beautiful. <laughs> now it's going Yuri again. She's like, stop touching me, Thomas. Don't try to seduce me. I'm not gay. Yeah. She's like, stop, stop trying to make me lesbian. Oh my god, here we go. It's adorable thomas -san. Yeah, this is from the... Oh my god, see, it's even... Why does he have a wig for? It's a straight up looks like a hentai. When they're feminizing, you know, like a male of course then, yeah. It looks like she's cross-dressing, it looks like she's cross-dressing. Yeah, Tomo crosses as a woman. It's straight up with the wig and everything, like long hair and everything, yeah, like the cross-dressing. Tomo's Tomo cross-dressing episode. It's straight up, it's like a Rule 34 thing when they, um... It feels like a straight up... <laughs> it looks like a straight up cross... It looks like a straight, straight up cross-dressing scene. Otokunoku scene, yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No, but I didn't even have a wig for it. They're like... They're adding on this long wig and so on, yeah. So you're gonna, you're gonna have long hair and so on, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a woman suddenly. What is this? And then kick her out. <laughs> See? This is like a head time now. They're like cross-dressing, forcing the guy to look like a woman, yeah. Putting the guy in a, you know, a wig and a, a cute skirt and then forcing her, him, her out of the building. Like go to the convenience store uh, in a cute dress. <laughs> yeah, gonna, I gotta go to the convenience store dressed as a cute girl and so on. This is like straight up like a hen storyline. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, and this Yun Kun, of course, he can't recognize her, right? He can't recognize her. He can't recognize her. He's he has never seen a woman before. Yeah, he's never seen this lady before. He only recognizes his bro, right? Yeah, he won't, rec he won't recognize his best uh, bro as a woman, right? So the cross dressing episode, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she can't go in high heels and a, in a skirt yet so <laughs> he's basically like this is basically like him you know finding his um, best friend cross-dressing as a woman it's like is that my bro my bro is a lady he's just confused by where are you Tomashan? yeah is that is that like my best friend you know the guy that I grew up with the guy that I play fighting games with or so what? Is, is that him as a woman? Yeah. <laughs> this is like straight up some cross-dressing love story. Oh my god, this is so weird. Yeah, this is so weird now. Cross-dressing episode. <laughs> it's anime, so... Anoni! Yeah, not that date is that. Tomo accidentally gets a date, basically. See, this is like a hentai now, yeah. Accidentally <laughs> gets on a date with her best friend. Yeah. It's like accidental date here with her uh, bro, yeah. Bromance. <laughs> and I was like, I'm a hentai, right? I'm a weird, I'm a hentai. I know, I'm a hentai. <laughs> like, she's acting like she's like a man dressed up as a woman, yeah. She's straight up acting like it's a cross-dressing uh, hen star, Utsukunoku storyline. She's just like, oh, I know I'm a hen dressing up as a woman. <laughs> it's like, why, Tomo? Tomo, you were born as a woman. And he's like, oh, I know he's saying that I want to be a lady. <laughs> yeah. But come on, this is so weird now, yeah, like, the way she addresses it, like, I... I know that it is strange that I am dressed as a woman. <laughs> does that make me a, uh, <laughs> you know, does that make me a hentai that I'm dressed up as a lady? And it's like, this is a really weird take on it, right? Yeah, it's hilarious. Like, oh no. 
uh, is that strange? Is that, is that strange that I'm dressed as a woman? Would you still sleep with me? <laughs> it's like, like she's acting like she's hiding, you know, uh, a pee pee. Yeah, <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, that is so weird. Yeah, the best thing is date here now, you know, sitting here and it's like a uh, cute date, kind of talking through it and so on. Um, get on the back of her cake here. He told me I was very beautiful and now it's very, so good, Thomas! Like, yeah, he told me I was very attractive. I don't think he realized that it was me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he realized that he was talking to me as a woman. No, I don't think so. Thomas on. I'll try again with you. He's like, hmm. Yeah, did I meet you? <laughs> He's like, I'm pretty sure I met you just as yeah, did you cross straight yesterday? That fist. That's my Thomas on chicken. <laughs> now she's like, you're a hentai, you're into getting punched. Oh my god, yeah, now she's like, you're into getting punched, you perv, what? Oh, but anime is weird, man. The yeah, anime is weird, okay. But now they're playing, what, volleyball? Yeah, of course, Tomo is a dangerous... <laughs> now it's back to being a Tomo, yeah. Tomo is a very dangerous cause volleyball player. Yeah, why are you running away from me? <laughs> yeah, of course she murders everyone, right? Yeah, she throws the ball so hard that they... <laughs> yeah. She's throwing the volleyball so hard that everyone breaks their bones, right? Of course. <laughs> of course, Carol uses her up by too. Uh, she just throw all the balls. There's no balls left. All the volleyballs. Ah, she has to play with the boys. That is too far. They're like, yeah, Tomo! Yeah, she's like, yeah, go. Let's go, bro. <laughs> she's too powerful. Yeah, she's throw all the volleyballs and so on. They're like, whoa. <laughs> That's our guy. <laughs> That's our Tomo. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're gonna have her in the ma in the male division. She's too powerful for the females. Oh, I love it, man. We have volleyball tournament and Tomo has to play with the boys because, yeah, she's too powerful. Yeah, we got to Tomo! <laughs> All the guys are like, no! That's cheating! You can't have that woman in your team! Oh, the dodge sparks. I said volleyball, but dodge sparks was. I was, I was, I mean, dodge sparks was, yeah. Now it's like, Senpai, let's go! I mean, destroy you, Senpai! <laughs> like, what? Yes, right, Senpai! <laughs> Mina, don't play them! <laughs> just, 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 just surrender! <laughs> don't die, guys! Yeah, I'm sorry, don't well, spoil the course. Really, yeah. But I like it, Tom is too powerful for the female division, and now he dies immediately. Yeah. Senpai! <laughs> he dies immediately, yeah. Oh, this is a great episode. This is why I love Tomo, man. <laughs> She's too powerful to be in there. <laughs> but now all the guys are like, We get Tomo in our team? Awesome! <laughs> Instead of, of course, normally men would be like, What the hell? They have a woman in our team? That's lame. They're like, We can have the woman in our team? <laughs> Way better than that, guys. Oh my god, it's a dream come true for us. Yeah, they're like, Oh my god, we're so lucky to have Tomo in our team. Yeah, they're like, Oh my god, yes, yeah, the best thing ever. Okay, now comes uh, that's the guy from the opening. Yeah, he's the muscle guy from the opening. Yeah, this is the muscle guy from the opening. You see, yeah, he's like the all the powerful muscle beef, I guess. Now she's clearly shouting for Tomo. He's like, oh yeah, the girls are here chilling. He's like, yeah, <laughs> and he dies and he gets hit by the ball immediately. Yeah, the muscle guy and Carol, of course, was Carol, but he more me. Yeah, they bought it for Tomo, of course. They're like, what? I don't care about this guy, we have Tomo Sean. Well, I like it, they're like, let's fight! <laughs> ah, this reminds me now of uh, uh, Spy X Family when they fight that huge, that like 10 feet tall kid, right? We have Omnis to fight that like giant guy. <laughs> Karen, of course, drops some, drop some hardliners. But yeah. <laughs> what is this? Terrible <laughs> don't spawn! Yeah, everyone is like, ah, these balls are so powerful. 
He can grab. He can. He can catch it. Yeah, he's powerful. He's muscular enough to. This guy is biff enough to actually capture her ball right there. I guess Tomo's gonna block it though. Or maybe Yun does. I think Tomo can block it though, but Yun maybe do it. <laughs> it's like a dragon ball. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Piccolo. <laughs> it's like a god of it's a god of Dragon Ball scene. Yun's god! <laughs> no! Yeah, it's like it's like coming out behind them. No! Yeah, I gotta Yeah, he went Piccolo for her, yeah. And the girls are like, what's happening? Let's try ball at them, yeah. But I'm to need to like a lightning beam, yeah. Uh, she, no Tomo's gonna go ultra, she's like a super saiyan, yeah. She's gonna level up here. You killed my best friend, that's my Krillin, yeah. Now she's going super saiyan. Super tomboy, yeah, she's going super tomboy. This guy is like, I don't even need damage with the volleyball. He's one, he's one of the power up Tomo's uh, yeah, rage. <laughs> this scene is awesome. What is this scene? <laughs> yeah, like turning into this like super uh, dodge spawn. My god, what is this scene? Yeah, so hard. It's gonna hit him in the stomach. Yeah, it's gonna bounce him. Yeah, it's gonna trick shot on Torbo. <laughs> this guy. Wait, you passed me? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, ultimate strategy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, I guess I'm probably about that. <laughs> See, they win! Tomo is the strongest boy, yeah, yeah. Tomo gets the trophy for being the strongest male. Yeah, Tomo is the strongest male they have, yeah, woo! Haha, <laughs> he's gonna be a rival now, I guess, for the anime. Yeah, Tomo wins as the strongest man they have. And her friends are like that. Was that good for her? She, she won the... She's the strongest male, yeah, I don't know if that's good. Where are you geeky for? Like, you, you... Yeah. I have so much fun. <laughs> oh God, that scene was awesome. They're like throwing the ball. He's like, oh man. Tomo goes super silent, man, yeah. Man, it was awesome. My God. <laughs> Not for myself, okay. Fight now? Oh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, the Yudo fight. I mentioned earlier, was. Because Yudo is a very technical Yudo guy, right? Yeah, he's less muscular, but Yudo is he's the master Yudo guy, of course. And no problem for him to defeat him. Yeah, Yudo owns him more than Yudo. Yeah. Keeps owning him. Yeah, they keep training, I guess. Yeah, they keep fighting. Yeah, they're both like a Yudo guys. <laughs> yeah, they, they got this one bromance now with Yudo here. Oh, yeah, I should get back to doing martial art. Yeah, you got talent, boy! It's just like, come on, bro, you should be a Yudo master. Yeah, you go back to the dojo. You're, you're like, you're the best Yudo guy here, man. Interesting. Yeah, let's try to get him back there. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Let's try to get him into the... Yeah. Interesting. But he's like, it's probably for Tomo, of course. Of course, it's probably Tomo. Yeah. It's probably something to do with Tomo, of course. <laughs> but I like how she threw the ball in there was a pass and everything. Yeah, she like super signed that ball. It was like a trick shot. Ha <laughs> Yeah, come on. I was gonna tell her something. No, no. He's like, for a moment he was like, "You're my girl, Tomo." I don't know. He was like, "Look at that muscular back." <laughs> and then he, then he remembers the bro man. He's like, "He's my best friend. That's my bro." Oh, he's gonna be like, "I'm in love with her." No, I don't know. He's gonna be like, "I'm meeting it." Uh, maybe. But yeah, not a time slip off there. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, so it's a bit hard to get the timing correctly there. But. There might be some at any credits though. Yeah. But now it's the adding. 
Yeah. That was a great. I mean, it really felt like a hen, you know. The whole, uh, yeah, the whole storyline was like a hen, man. Oh, you just skipped that thing for now. Yeah, but sorry, the time was a little off there, but uh, whatever. It's a view to watch. Yeah, it's a little laggy there in the middle of it. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. I don't. I was trying it off my internet the last week. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love this anime. Yeah, so Tomoko gets banned, right? She's so muscular. She's just a man. She's banned from the female division. But I love all the guys are like, we get Tomo in our team. That's awesome. She's the strongest man we have. <laughs> so everyone's happy. Yeah, like, oh, we got, I got Tomo with me. Like what? That woman can't be allowed to play. Yeah, everyone's like, no, ban, ban. It's illegal. You can't have a woman in the male division. <laughs> He picked up her, he went Dragon Ball! You're gonna go and buy some clothes, you're gonna go and buy some food. She's all embarrassed, like, hold on, there's like a lady! You know what I mean? She gets like, the wig on and yeah, makeup and... It really comes off of the typical cross-dresser scene, right? Where the girls are like feminizing a cute boy, right? And sends him to the buy store, and then his best friend, right, like his classmate sees him, then they have like a date or something, right? And he's like, oh my god, but I have a penis, but if he figures out that I have a, you know, oh my god, I'm in love with my bestie, so yeah. Really, because all my typical, like, rule 34 cross dressing scene, but she's a woman, so she's so stupid. And she's all like, oh, oh, what have you figured out that I have a. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's basically worried she's gonna figure out she has a penis. But like, we don't have a penis anymore, like, it doesn't make any sense. That's why it's so extra funny because it really has all the tropes of her being like, no, I gotta hide my, you know, my stuff in my skirt or something. Like, but you don't have anything to hide to. Like, she really thinks she's a man, basically. Yeah, she's like, oh. Right. She's like, no, he's, he's, he's staring at me. What have you figured out? That, <laughs> yeah. She's like acting like there's a lot of, like, a lot of gender, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Accidental. Yeah, he dies. Jun, like, takes the blow, runs right? against like, like a camera behind, takes the blow, and she's just like, oh! <laughs> yeah, because I'm like Super Saiyan. <laughs> and she goes like Ultra Super Saiyan, and then like, oh, power up my watch, man. But I mean, I said like the general team, right? That all the girls are like, we refuse to play with her. <laughs> yeah. So she she has to play with the male division, right? And then like I said earlier, normally of course, the guys would be like, oh no. So when I was a kid in her age, right? We always had like a baseball tournament that I won for the minute. Mm -hmm. I won the world for yeah. But I won the baseball tournament. But in baseball tournament, uh, in, in, when I play baseball in Sweden, you have to have girls in your team, yeah. So we have one adult baseball tournament and one like whatever kind of random for, yeah, for, for like teenagers as well. And we won both in the same the same team. But they have, they have rules that you have to play with like, I don't know, I think it's like you have to have at least 12 players and four have to be females and that, right? So I remember, for example, in my, say in the, in the, in the hockey league, in the hockey tournament as well, but uh, yeah, land hockey, we play land hockey as well. But, so in the baseball land, Swedish baseball, it doesn't have the same, it's basically baseball with somewhat different rules, but basically it's baseball. And so Swedish baseball land, it's called Brandvold, but it's the same thing, yeah, uh, more or less. So like when we played baseball, uh, we would have, we won like said, both the youth division and the adult division, right, easily. Because what we had was, it was like me, you know, other you know, beef guys, so we had top guys. And then basically, our, all our four girls, we had, we had I, mean, I, mean, I mean it, we had like bare minimum females in our team, right? But basically, we picked out like, okay, this woman here, uh, she's like the, you know, Swedish medalist in like running. So she's like a SM gold in like fastest runner in the girl. This girl here, she's like the best, uh, this thing. So on, our only females were like the top of the, yeah, food chain. No, but seriously, so we had like, like, yeah, we basically had the, our, our, you know, 10 or so men were also, of course, competitive in different sports or whatever, right? But I would say that our females from like a straight, straight up, you know, Master Chief level was way better, yeah. So we had like, but it basically felt like an anime, right? Because we played this, yeah, like this like mixed mixed division baseball, then, and we had like, okay, we had, like ten guys and like four or five ladies, and all these ladies are like, uh, oh, she's the fastest runner in the country, and this is the strongest woman in the country. It felt very anime, yeah. We're like, we're gonna go and recruit these like super badass ladies, right? Per their own sport. We make this like you know gender mixed gender baseball team, and we have these like incredibly athletic females that 
okay, you run, you know, run around, you know, there's a baseball, you gotta run around the, the, the fields, right? Yeah. Uh, this woman is the fastest runner in, in the whole state, so she can run really fast, right? Even if she hits the ball pretty badly, whatever, she runs really fast. <laughs> so, yeah, so we had those, uh, it was like very anime. But, uh, but anyway, right, what I mean is that usually, I remember playing something that mixed gender baseball before that, right? And then we were younger, for the same rules, and I was like 12, right? Then of course when you got like girl, you were like, oh no, we don't, I don't want a girl in our team, right? We had to play with the girls, and it was like, oh no, not because you just like females, like, oh no, they're slower and weaker, and <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want them, you know. Uh, but yeah, we made the dream team though, like Tomo here. We we're like, oh, let's get four Tomos. Then it was like, oh yeah. But the difference was that as I grew up, right, uh, basically when we were, yeah, like 16, 16, I guess, and upward, right? You basically had all the rules, or rather than. Okay, you have to make your mix in the team and so on. That's in the rules, but you can make your own team, right? When you're like 13, 14, doing the junior division better tournament, so that's two different ones, right? Uh, yeah, then you were like, oh, the teachers will make the teams, you know what I mean? So then you just got some random, a bad guy, but a fat so, you know what I mean? Basically, yeah, I was like, okay, but she's like super slow, <laughs> right? When we were like 16, 17, we were like, oh, we can pick any woman you want. Well, I know this woman, she's like, she's been in the Olympics for this thing. Yeah, I picked the Olympic woman over there. Yeah, okay, good. I used to train actually at my gym, um, so I used to train at this, so I went to this uh, uh, senior high school that had also uh, like a sport uh, special program, right, for one certain sport. So we actually had not one but two females from my school when they were like in the 20s for Olympics, competing in the Olympics for that sport. So uh, my gym buddy uh, was this woman then, they went to the Olympics later then, we were like 16, 17, she was two, she's two years older than me, so we used to train at the gym every morning. Uh, when, I, when I was 18 or 16, uh, so basically I was like, oh yeah, I have this woman. She's like the like the best. She's like the uh, European master in this sport. Like I could be the old sport again. Could be old, not baseball, not you know, lad hockey. But she's, oh, she's the strongest like woman I have in the whole city. Like you know, I pick her for my team. <laughs> so when we got 16, it was easy. Like I'm like, hey you, you, I have my own Tomo. Like hey Tomo, like I got, I got my own like you know, Stina, Ingrid Tomo. Like hey Stina, I need like a muscular woman to play baseball with me. Like a really ripped woman. She's like, oh, okay, you know, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I get like this, <laughs> that level of, you know, like, oh, she's the like, strongest woman in the city. Yeah, I get that woman, right? So that was be easy to win in tournaments. But uh, but again, though, I, said, I don't know how I got into this rant here, but it was kind of fun thinking about just how when you played mixed gender sports back then when, when I was in, yeah, teenagers and young adults and so on, it is kind of funny, right? Because when you suddenly allow that and also allowing picking your teams, suddenly it gets really unfair. It's going to be really unfair, right? Because the other teams, most of them were like, Oh yeah, we're like ten guys with like you know five females and they're just like friends, someone's girlfriend. You know, these these guys had someone in their team. You know, they're like, oh yeah, we got this random girl. You know, from our someone knows like someone's mom basically. Right? And our team, we were like, we're gonna win this all these, all these tournaments. But both adult, we both both are leagues, right? You know, both for the kids and the adult league. We, yeah, we were like, oh yeah, we got all these like super competitive ladies. We got the strongest bodybuilder. We got the runner. We got <laughs> yeah. We were like, we were anime. It was like we're gonna get the best female person per sport we know right and make them in our dream team we don't care about if you can play baseball for example or land hockey or whatever we only care about the like physical attributes yeah like oh this woman is the fastest woman we have in the country she's gonna be in our team she can, she can run whatever <laughs> yeah we, then we can teach her to play baseball that's that's our plan yeah we just recruited like the the, the top the top soup we got like we got like five tomos right we got like five tomos and then we're like okay let's go <laughs> right then we can just teach the tomo how to play the sport later right so we won both the land hockey tournaments and the baseball tournaments but in this mixed gender, yeah, because we had like five tournaments, so we were like, whatever, land hockey, so I never played hockey, yeah, but you're incredibly muscular, you're the strongest woman I've seen in my life, and it's true, okay, so here's my hockey club and here's how you play, whatever, you just, you just tackle someone, yeah, it's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> so then it's a strategy in my experience, you know. Yeah, an army of tournaments, they're very, very, very good, uh, but anyway, we just kept Send a direct coming up after this, right?